atención porque esto empezó hace 13 años. Cuando llegué a este país, tenía miedo. No sabía el lenguaje, no sabía nada. Pero llegué aquí con un sueño. Con el sueño de libertad, con el sueño de poder seguir adelante. Pasaron los años y estaba emocionada porque iba a entrar a la universidad. Esperaba poderles dar un buen ejemplo a mis hermanas, esperaba tener una carrera, esperaba poder trabajar en todo lo que yo he soñado. Mi sueño es poder ser maestra de español, pero porque pienso mostrarles a todos lo bonito de mi cultura, pero también lo bonito que he aprendido de su cultura. Yo puedo decir que amo México, pero también amo este país. Este país es parte de mí. Ahora que estoy aquí, tengo tres de mis hermanas viendo mi ejemplo. Tengo tres niñas que esperan verme graduar y poder ser una gran maestra. Pero díganme, sin el derecho de trabajar en esto, ¿qué voy a hacer? ¿Qué van a pensar ellas cuando ven que su hermana duró tantos años? Para nada. Porque saliendo tal vez irá, no sé, limpiar casas, limpiar yardas. Todo este trabajo que he hecho, ¿perdido? Claro que no, por eso estoy aquí para pedirles a ustedes su apoyo. Para que ese sueño deje de ser un sueño y se pueda convertir en una realidad. Uh, next we have Juan from the Metacolor Alliance and Albuquerque Dreamers in Action. because you guys are standing up for our people. You know, you guys have the advantage to know about all this. So you guys should be responsible for, for doing all this. A lot of our people can't go to school, you know? They're, a, lot, a lot of people, they don't make it all the way over here. And they don't, they don't get to know about all these problems. So I'm really proud of y'all. Um, let me tell you a little bit of my story. I, I, grew, up, I grew up in... I was born in Sonora, Mexico. And I was raised in Phoenix, Arizona. And, but I, <laughs> I had to run away from Phoenix, Arizona because they weren't letting me educate myself over there. So I came to Nuevo Mexico when I was 17 um, just to get my education. And I'm here. Um, you know, I, I got myself, uh, my confidence up. I knew I wasn't going to high school. Uh, I knew I wasn't going to go to college when I was in Phoenix growing up while I was in high school. So. My, I was very hopeless, you know? So I understand the, the effects of being undocumented. And, and it's very tough. It's, uh, psychologically, it's very tough for someone young to grow up and, and know that we have all these issues and we have to go through them, you know? So it's very tough, but I started doing good in school. Um, I saw hope and, and I'm doing really good now. And now that I know all these, I'm very knowledgeable about all these issues. I'm responsible to, to do something about it. So here I am, I'm gonna keep working hard. And viva la, viva la lucha! Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. And next we have Nise.
and create some dialogue about the really important issues that this revolves around. So just a quick little announcement. Thank you all. All righty, now if I could just start. Um, I want to say a little phrase of a song that I love, and this basically starts by telling my story. Dice que la culpa la tenía la maestra de cuarto cuando me hizo jurarle a la nada. In English, it was my fourth grade teacher's fault when she made me swear to the nothing. When I came here, I was 10 years old, and I began in the fourth grade. I learned the Pledge of Allegiance, I began to say it every day, and she used to sing with us, this land is your land, this land is my land. I would sing faithfully, believing what she would say, and I would make that pledge every single fucking day. And guess what? Years later, I found out that it's not my country, that I can't be here, that I don't have rights, that I'm going to be harassed for wanting to get an education. Is it okay when this country goes and occupy other places with warfare and brings poverty and brings violence? Is that okay for them to do? We have to be quiet about that, right? But when we want an education, when we want opportunities, when we want a fucking job, we can't get it. I don't believe in that. I believe that when my teacher said that this is my land also, you know what, that got stuck in my heart and that's the dream that I'm pursuing right now. And nobody is gonna take that away from me. Because once you promise somebody something and they believe it, you can't take that away from them. You can't expect the dreamer to stop dreaming until the dreams come true. You can't expect the dreamer to give up on their dreams because you know what? That's what our life is all about. And these dreams, they go further than a dreamer. They go further than an undocumented student because they become the dreams of allies, the dreams of our families, the dreams of our communities, dreams of safety, of progress, of education, of dignity. That's all that we want, and I don't think that is illegal. Do you guys agree that this is not illegal? <laughs> if I can say something right away, I don't believe in this undocumented stuff. There's no border that can really defy us. Right now, I see people of, our, of all colors, and I enjoy seeing every single one of us uniting because we're not only dreamers, and we're not only allies, we're not only friends, we're all believers. And when you believe, you're gonna make this come true. And thanks to every single person who is here, and I just wanna tell you guys that the dreams that I started dreaming when I was 10 years old, I'm not going anywhere until I make them come true. And I'm gonna be everywhere I want to be because I am a human being before all things. And I have the human right to education, the human right to dream, and nobody can take that away from me. So we're not gonna stop until we get what we came for. Is that clear? status have basic fundamental human rights. Amnesty International works in solidarity with immigrants in the United States to fight for those rights. As Nise said, the basic right to education. When we march down Central today, we must remember to use our voices for those who have been silenced. We must shake the very foundations of every single building along the way. We must use our voice to make cracks in the concrete. We must let people know that immigrants' rights are human rights. <laughs> so everyone with a clipboard, please raise your hand. Okay, so these folks are gonna be monitors. What's gonna happen now is we're gonna be marching with the uh, speakers in the front. Where are the speakers at? Speakers, if the speakers wanna come up here, the speakers will be led by Sarah. If we need to go two by two, trust me, it'll make us look really, really huge. So, um, uh, I mean, like, it's a huge crowd as it is. So, does everyone have a chat sheet? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Who needs signs? Who needs signs? Signs. Okay, let's practice some chants, shall we? America! Escucha! Estamos en la lucha! America! Escucha! Estamos en la lucha! No pare! Sigue, sigue! Estamos en la lucha!
education, not deportation. Education, not deportation. Education, not deportation. Education, not deportation. Don't hate, educate. Don't hate, educate.